Hello guys, it is me, Cardboard Fish, and today we're going to be starting our new Let's Play on Hyrule Warriors Definitive Edition. It's basically Hyrule Warriors with all the DLC on Nintendo Switch, and I enjoyed the Hyrule Warriors on the Wii U and 3DS, so I'm going to play it on Switch for you guys. Basically, yeah, so um, let's get started. This does have Amiibo functionality, so I might be doing that later. So we have legends and settings and all these other modes, but we'll get to those when time comes. Um, we'll, we're gonna start with legend mode, especially storm mode. It's all shut up so you can see this. Okay, so basically, monsters are attacking Hyrule, let's go kill them. So basically, that's kind of the story, just those evil guys. Um, there's gonna be more, it does give you some tips if you never played a Dynasty Warriors game or something like this. Um, so yeah, so let's get into it. So we are playing currently on Hyrule Field. I'm calling it Hyrule Castle, because mainly that's what it is, but... Okay, so, beat him up, you can roll, press Y, A to roll, I don't know why, I've never played the Zelda control, so I'm trying out those to see how they go. You can get these combos going, slash up your enemies, slash them up, go for, then you want to get your super, you spin. Pretty cool, super. I'm not gonna lie. I usually like to stay over here. And so this is your cutscene. I just got a reincarnation. Not be probably. So on the top mini map over there. So. Proxy is the fairy's name. She's talking to us. So on top map, mini map in this game is very important. So those are like tiny little sections of the map that you can play with. So basically it says like, so this is an outpost captain. And if you kill him, then you get more than that outpost becomes a... High ruling outpost instead of a dark forest outpost, basically giving you more. 
and like troops make it easier so we're just killing these guys so the gate opened up so I think we should be prepared for what's ever in there let's just kill these guys real quick So this is the Dragonite Volga. It's basically teaching you how to like lock onto your targets. So basically just saying like I'm just gonna use my super so that I call it your super, it's like your um thing. Dodge to the right, go for the spin attack, go I'd say go use your small attack twice, then use your spin. And you'll get quite a good amount of damage done. And bam! Half oh. So basically, we just defeated this boy, and yeah, that's pretty nice. So these gates open, and I suggest we just try to find an outpost captain. It looks like that Goron's getting a bit overthrown. Maybe we should go help him. Fan forts now open. Like th these, so you can get hearts, talking about pots, stuff they found on the ground. So the scorn captain, he needs help fighting off the Sazalfo, so I'm just gonna use my thing on him. Lynx is probably just a mediocre one compared to everything else. Like get if you get these learn these combos so you can kill these guys quicker. We'll go into like the shops and stuff after this a bit and I'll teach you how to do that. So all these goblins, they they're basically an infinite amount of them. But, so I'd say just like try to fight off as many as you can. And when you hit like marks, they'll be like, thanks, and they do stuff. So we gotta go all the way down here to the mine just to open this chest. So in this chest, we got bombs. They're not like in other games, but they kind of are. These come actually kind of important, so basically these are ZR button. I suggest that you smash the A button to get out of there, but nope, boulders. Cause I need a way to teach you how to use bombs. I don't know, like the bombs don't do that much damage to like opponents, but it's like I suggest to start just killing these guys and then use run. It's quicker, it's just so you can change your heroes over here. So you switch to Zelda, who, in my opinion, is a decent fighter. She's not my favorite, definitely not. But she's not that bad. So I'm just gonna work with some people over here. I definitely like Link more, mainly because his combos. I don't like Zelda's rapier. It just like doesn't work as well. Like she uses these things in the corner. But she does have some pretty cool combos that you can get done. Like this zigzag one, that's why I like to call it. This one guy. So we just need to like basically destroy as much of these guys as possible until the field captain shows up. 
then you just zoop 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 get that and this is our keep now and basically that means we basically have all the power so now I'm switching back to Link and then with Link we run over here and we can bomb this wall and now we have reunited even though we weren't really united and then there's like these bags on the ground those are materials collect those because at the end there's creepy stuff sorry about my throat it's been kind of weird so we need to go over there something that i need to care of so something that i like to do on these maps is try to get all the keeps because sometimes you can get stuff for those so first of all, we want to take this keep before it gets closed. Okay, we said leave the east one. Because now I'm going to do something there. Gold sculptures, I'm not going to focus on those guys. Like, you guys should, because you can get, like, pictures. But I'm mainly just gonna go for capturing stuff. Basically, it's saying if that falls, the entire game's over, you lose. That's how you lose this game. I've never once lost on this map, but I have seen people who lost before. So I'm gonna go up here real quite. Wait. I like hacking and slashing. It's kind of fun. Really, why you play Dynasty? This game is basically based off a game called Dynasty Warriors, which is like a series of. So I killed those offos. Just run for the Dark Wizard. Pay, 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 let it rip. Oh, oh, look at this dude. Look at this dude. Slut slash this dude. Look at this dude. Let's use our soup. This is like um. This lets you kind of go god mode and just like deal a ton of damage really quick. Like you can just like combo this guy, but he's retreated, which is a good thing. Let's kill this keep boss. I'm gonna try to take all these, because that's fun for me. And, yeah, you're supposed to capture both those keeps, but they won't shut until you leave. So, basically, you can spend as much time here just getting this. Because that castle won't fall because it's impossible. It's, like, literally physically impossible for them to fall. And because that gate is shut. Basically meaning, don't. Ow, you hurt me. You will die. So now we're moving in this way. Gold Skull Chill that flood, that's okay though. Kill that again. You do level up, that's how you get some parts. We're gonna go over here though. I just wanna capture everything up here because you can never get too many kills. And also, yeah. I'm kind of repeating myself a lot, so one reason, like, so if you order the thing on Switch, not only do you get all the DLC, you also get some Breath of the Wild stuff before it, and it looked pretty cool, so I decided to buy this, even though I already bought it a few times. Kills the dude, and I'll spawn a chest, and if you look in this chest, if I can open it. You get a heart, piece of heart. Um, collect four. That's one of the main reasons why you want to come here. Because in different stages, you can get pieces of heart. and So you can get pieces of heart. And, um, there, I believe there's one for Link. So, look at these guys. Is there anything under this? I'm pretty sure I thought. There's a chest under this, yeah. This is the heart container. 
So you can get both of those just over here. So that's why I suggest that you come up here. Over here. That's why I suggest that you mainly do it. You don't have to. You also do get some kills and other loot, but... You can also get a lot of rupees by coming up here. Like, you... I sp can speedrun this level in, like, six minutes, but I've been taking so... I've been, like, taking a sweet time. Just, like, killing everything. Making sure everything's nice and pulverized. Let's just kill all these guys. I know I'll get my thing back really quick. So, get this. Collecting quite a bit of stuff. So, I think the graphics look decent on this. I mean, I don't know. I might be biased because it's my stuff, but. So, I'm gonna be done up here. I could take all of these, but. Eh, you know what? I'm just gonna take them all. Why not? Actually, no, because then they're because they're gonna go back to the dark forces anyway. I might as well as not. I might as well spawn and shut the gates. So now there's only one keep left to the bad guys, and that is down here. So I'm going to move down here. Take it from them, like good like a good person does. Link Super. I'm calling it Super. I've been playing a lot of Ball Stars recently. Maybe that's why. Um, I'll probably skip the cutscene with the Great Fairy because I'm a kid friendly channel. And that isn't the most kid friendly. So. Um, you be the best to judge. I'm probably not gonna show it. I mean, it'll. I'm just gonna skip the cutscene because it's like. So if this is the Great Fairy Fountain, it's like. Do you ever visit the Temple of Time in this game? Because I know you do a lot of other stuff. Next episode, um, the second that we um. Really, like they release some other stuff. I want to show you guys some other gameplay of not the main story, but like the side modes because this game is a very, very big game. Like, you could easily sink a good hundred hours into this or more. So now, what we, they want us to do is switch to Impa, who has the great long blade. I think that's what it's called. It may or may not be. Basically, it's a very powerful sword that. She likes to use, and I think she's the only one that uses it. So basically, we're trying to kill these Salfos because they're being jerks to us. So a a a. So combo 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 up, water, and then go for slash slash combo combo. Dip. This wasn't in the um other one though. This wasn't in the um normal version of this game it was only, it's only like how does Impa and Zelda like how do they have the bombs like I understand where Link does cause like he's Link and he was the one who got it from the chest but it's like everyone else like do they share the same package of bombs is it like so Link he needs to go to the center of the circle let me get Zelda too you can all come to the center Zelda's a pretty good character in this game. Link is the best. Link with the Master Sword can pull some pretty good combos. Like, wait. A. Okay, call the Magic Fairy. We're skipping this cutscene. If you want to see that, I'm sorry, but I don't want to get demonetized. So I'm not going to. If you guys are enjoying this video, I know I'm just blabbering on a lot. But if you guys enjoy this video, consider maybe leaving a like and maybe comment because I don't get enough of those and I would love to hear what some of you guys have to say about my stuff. So let's talk about morale. So basically, we are at high morale since we are very strong and they have like a nice blue coating. Well, not these guys, not yet. 
Um, so the wizard that we killed, he's now summoning in, um, this guy, King Dodongo, one of my favorite Zelda, like, bosses from... I love playing Ocarina of Time, that was a really fun game. So, being able to fight him in Hyrule Warriors, fire-breathing Dodongo. So, one of the really cool things about this is if you actually leave this area, you can actually see him a tiny bit. Like, I don't think you can see him, but he rolls in. Like, why didn't he just roll in immediately? So, basically, what we want to do is you just want to run up to him, and just, like, you want him to expose that side, so then you can... I suggest going for the R special move instead, because that will deal more damage. Basically, you just want to go as ham as physically possible in this dude. So then you shove this to him and teach him a lesson. And then you jump on him and stab him, but it doesn't kill him. I don't think you can kill him in one turn. Like, I've tried countless times. But we can stop him. Look at me just being up all these monsters. Let's throw this in him. Let's grab this. Let's fight, fight, fight. X, X. Spin a win, spin a win, spin a win. Like, the first time that I played this game, I didn't know that he had a weak spot. And I thought that you had to, um, originally just, like, basically just keep attacking him like this. Eat this, eat this, eat this. Die, die. The second he turns over, he's dead. And dead. Ballerina Link. So he explodes, he'll give us some a weapon, material weapon acquired. Just run across here, see if we find anything. Let's go over here. Um, they're talking about terrible news. They seize the castle. Princess Zelda's missing. Of course she is, why wouldn't she be? Like, what's over there? Is that like the Wind Waker Towers? Like there's so many Easter eggs from on this map. Here's a cutscene. I'll be quiet so you guys can watch it. The Triforce is the harmonious union of power, wisdom, and courage. It has been the object of countless battles between the forces of light and darkness. Each time the Triforce fell into the clutches of evil, Hyrule was plunged into misery. But in every age, a hero, clad in green, would restore peace to the land. During one of these dark times, the legendary hero split the spirit of evil into four fragments, sealing each away to finally break the cycle of destruction. Three of the fragments were scattered across time and space. The final fragment was sealed in a sacred temple built upon holy ground, imprisoned by the blade of evil's bane. Okay, so that is Army of Fruin. Um, so we got to level 4, battle record, 3,000 rupees for clearing it for a clear time of 15 minutes and 22, not the best, um, KOs, I got, like, a time bit over 2,000, pretty good, bonus, plus those, I got, like, that's, like, almost, about 10,000 rupees in the first map, we got a knight sword, another knight sword, another knight sword with material plus, knight sword with the strength attack plus, 
um, a knight sword. And we got a King Dodongo's Claw, Silver, Lysalfa Scale, Rock, Old Brag, Monster Tooth, Metal Plate, pretty much. You've unlocked the following free mode, adventure mode, challenge mode, and gallery. Those are awesome. You've unlocked the Air of the Wild tunic, um, Air of the Wild tunic for Zelda. Um, defeat more, one thousand or more enemies in one battle. Um, defeat a hundred more with a special attack. Basically, so this is telling us to go to the bazaar, so I guess we will. So we are going to use Link currently since he is our only main fighter. So we can go to the badge, and over here it says we need one old rag and a hundred rupees. And this will create an empty bottle somehow. I don't know how that creates an empty bottle. Let's see if we can make it an attack badge. We can. These give you like different combo strings. Um, any assist badges? A metal plate? Sure, I'll use one. See the process of taking keeps? That is actually immensely helpful. What do these do? Um, slight healing effect. Mm, yeah, not that important, really. So, yeah, that's mainly bizarre. The train dojo. Um, say for instance, if I had a ton of rupees but not a lot of levels, like, I could level them, my heroes up for rupees, but I can't right now. Um, Apothecary, this is basically how I can get medicine. So, weapon drop one, weapon star one. Um, weak boost to weapon drop rate, weak boost to drop weapon stars. Um, yeah, I don't need those right now. Um, yeah, all these other people will be going over there. So, Zelda's rapier actions, uh, I already did that. So, basically, you got Hyrule Fields, which has Link in it. But then you also got the Sheikah Tribesman. That's going to be for next episode. Well, pr actually, that's going to be in two episodes, because next episode, we're going to be going over something that I like to call Adventure Mode. And Adventure Mode is an entirely different game, so... We'll get to that when we get to that. But until then, thank you guys for watching. And keep, 